This video is an affiliation with Collingwood Insurance, up to 35% off via the link at the moment. More on that one later. At the moment, I'm in the Lake District at Buttermere and Crummock Water, and I've come across some really steep hills, so I've decided to make a very quick, impromptu video. I apologize if the sound quality is not the best and if the picture quality is not the best, but it's my other half, Gosha, using her phone to make this video. Hopefully, it helps you stay, stay, stay safe, sorry, on these very steep hills. And about that fluff in my words, if I fluff my words, I've only got one take of this, so bear with me. Unfortunately, the audio was ruined in the next clip, so I'll explain now what to do when you go up and down hills. You need lower gears. So if you're in, say, third gear, and your car starts struggling, go down to second gear. If it's still struggling, go down to first. Every time you go down a gear, your car is gonna have more power to get up that hill. If you're still struggling and you're in first, you can't go any lower. That's the lowest gear you can have. In that situation, you want to try and maintain some momentum, you want to maintain some speed and keep the revs slightly higher because the higher the revs are, the more power you have. So. The lower your gears, the more power you have, and the higher your revs, the more power you have. Keeping your gears low and your revs high will enable you to have more pulling power to get up that hill. When you're going down the hill, braking is the issue. You don't want to overheat your brakes, so you want to try and use the engine to keep you slow. The same is true going uphill as going downhill. Lower gears are better. So if you're in third gear and you're having to use a lot of brake a lot of the time down this hill, you're gonna overheat those brakes. Go to second gear, bring the clutch up to engage second gear. It's important to bring the clutch up and engage it. Don't leave the clutch down because then you'll have even more problems. Hopefully second gear will mean now that you don't need to press the brake as hard. If you feel you're still having to use the brake constantly and quite hard, then go down to first gear and bring the clutch up. Now you want to go slow because first gear can't go fast anyway, and going slow will prevent your brakes from overheating because your wheels have to be spinning quite quickly for your brakes to overheat. So in the worst situations, you want to be in first gear and very slow on the brake, keeping the car slow. And the reason why lower gears help you downhill is because they give you more engine braking. A lower gear has more engine braking than a higher gear, and that saves your brakes from doing all the braking for you. You share it between the brakes and the engine. Having the clutch down is the worst thing you can do because then you get no engine braking and you're solely relying on your brakes, which will overheat your brakes quite quickly, particularly on a very long, steep hill. So now I'm going up this 25% gradient. It will not come across on camera with how steep it is, but I'm actually putting my foot quite hard on the gas at the moment in second gear. Um, and it is going, it's handling it. It's not having a problem, but I'm having to press the gas a lot harder than usual to maintain this modest speed. Going uphill, the hill's on your side. So if you need to slow down, it's easier to slow down, but it's not on your side when it comes to accelerating. This bit's a bit flatter, so I can get going. I go back up to third now on this bit. Yep, it's handling it fine. But when I get to this next bit, that looks like the peak of steepness. I think I'm gonna have to go down to seconds. At the moment, the car is slowing down. I'm pressing the gas harder and it's still slowing down. My foot's really hard on the floor now. So I have to go down a gear into second, foot on the floor, there we go. It's starting to pull up the hill. So I don't need first. Second is handling this just fine. It actually just wheel spin again there. Crikey, that really is steep. And that's the problem with lower gears. It is easier to wheel spin in lower gears because they do give you more power. But you need that power to get up the hill. I guess if you don't have enough grip to get up the hill, well then you really are in trouble. Then you need different tires or a different car for that terrain you're trying to drive on. Looks like we're coming to the peak of this hill now. Look at that view. That is amazing. I know it doesn't come across on camera that well. You've got to come here, come to the Lake District to see this. It's absolutely beautiful. And what's this say? This sign here says a 20% gradient. So it's not as bad as the other one, not 25, but still really steep. So now I'm going down this 20% gradient in second gear. 
I'm having to use the brake still. I come off the brake, it still speeds up in second gear. I don't want to use too much brake. So if I'm having to use the brake a lot, I'll go down into even, even lower gear. So I go to first gear now and bring the clutch up. I'm actually off the brake now and it's only speeding up a little bit. It's got up to about 19 miles an hour and that's keeping me slow. And that's really good because I don't want to have to stay on the brake. It's starting to slow down a little bit now. So I'm going back up to second because lower gears will give you more braking. And now it's speeding up again. I can use a little bit of brake, but the key is, is to try and get the engine and the gears to keep you slow. You don't want to be hard on the brake all the way down this hill because you will overheat your brakes eventually. Again, in an automatic, it's more or less the same thing. Choose a low gear, a gear that means you don't need to use much brake. If you're having to use a lot of brake, go down another gear. And on the older style of automatics, the torque converter ones, and the older ones which have an L on them, L will help you on hills. Another steep hill here, I'm off the gas in second, it's doing okay, it's starting to speed up, a little bit of brake, that's okay. I'm not having to press the brake too hard all the time here. Off the brake now, and it's uphill a bit here, so actually using a little bit of gas. And now this looks like, this looks like the 20% bit. Oh yes. Now going slow will help too, because when you're going slow, your wheels aren't spinning as fast. Therefore, your brakes are gonna take a long time to overheat when you're going slow. Once your brakes get to about 200, 250 degrees Celsius, you're gonna know about it. You're gonna really struggle to brake, and you can start get, get juddering through the brakes as well, as, you, as the uh, brake pads uh, start to transfer onto the disc. It's a bit of a, more of a technical term there, but believe me, when your brakes get hot, all sorts of horrible things can happen. If your brake fluid boils, and your brake fluid can boil, you'll get a spongy pedal. I'm gonna go down to first now, because I'm having to use quite a lot of brake for quite a long time. So I'm just gonna slow it down and go down here slowly in first, because my brake fluid is actually three years old now, and I recommend changing brake fluid every three years. So this is due, oh, this is really steep. Look at that. Yeah, my brake fluid is due, so don't overheat it. It will boil and it will get spongy. Uh, the younger the brake fluid, the hotter it needs to be before it boils. Now I'm off the brake in first and it's really speeding up down here, even in first gear. So I'm just letting the gear keep me slow with a little bit of brake. I'm doing about 20 miles an hour and hopefully that'll keep my brakes cool enough so that I don't lose them. So to summarize, when you're going uphill, if the car starts struggling, go down a gear. If it's still struggling, go down another gear. Keep going down gears until it's not struggling. Keeping the revs higher will give you more power and help you up that hill. If it can't go up the hill, well, then you're in trouble. But I've never been on a hill that I haven't yet been able to get up. But then I do live in England. When you're going downhill, again, the same thing applies. Lower gears are better. If you're using the brake a lot, go down a gear so that you can use less brake. If you still feel you're using the brake quite a lot, go down another gear and keep going down gears until you can use less brake. If you're in the lowest gear possible and you're still having to use the brake a lot, then stay slow because staying slow will stop your brakes overheating and prevent your brake fluid from boiling. Replace your brake fluid every three years because brake fluid gets water in it. And when it gets water in it, it has a lower boiling point. And when it boils, you get a spongy pedal. But if you replace every three years, that should keep the boiling point nice and high to avoid that spongy pedal. And also make sure you've had the air bled out the system as well. Changing your brake fluid is not normally that expensive. It's normally between 50 and 100 pounds. And the same thing applies to automatics. If you've got a more modern automatic where you can change gears yourself, choose those lower gears. If you've got an older traditional style of automatic, the letter L is very important on hills, or you've got those numbers. Those numbers basically means that automatic gearbox won't allow it to choose a gear higher than that number. So if it's two, you go to two, it will stay in two or below. If you go to one, it will stay in gear one. Well, I hope that quick video helps. If you think it does, please give the video a thumbs up. Again, I apologize for the quality. I'm just on holiday and my girlfriend has kindly offered to help film a quick video. 
as I don't have hills like this where I live. I live in Essex, which is one of the most flat parts of the UK. Um, if you think the video does help and you like the videos, please subscribe. There's plenty more videos coming along soon. And look in the description to Collingwood and Confuse if you want a great deal on car insurance. At the moment, there's 35% off Collingwood via the link. And there's also a £20 gift card in there too. So, until the next one, Sorry, I'm concentrating here on driving. Look forwards. This is how narrow it is here. This is a one car at a time, so I was just making sure it was safe before I went through there. But until the next one, cheerio. Ali